This video features my updated Urban Altoids EDC kit version 4.0. I've been making these EDC kits now for almost a decade and this one is the latest installment. Again, it's meant for EDC purposes or everyday carry. It's meant to complement the items that I currently store in my pocket as part of my normal EDC. It's not intended to be a survival kit that you would take to the middle of the Amazon jungle. It would do you no good in that type of environment. It's also not intended to be used in an urban environment that's under extreme duress. So if you happen to live in Caracas, Venezuela, for example, it will do you no good over there, but it serves me well in the Seattle area. As always, I've provided a PDF document. You can download it by clicking the link in the description box below. It has a list of all the items that are going to be covered in this video. There's a lot to cover in this video, so let's just get right down to it. This is my updated Urban Altoids EDC kit version 4.0. Let's get started. Over the years, my Altoids kits have changed a lot. In the early days, they went through major changes with the type of items that were stored in it in addition to how they were stored. And over the past few years, it's been minor tweaks to it just to help refine my system. In version 4, I decided to go with a little bit of extra branding for my kits, in addition to bringing back some items that I used to have in older kits but were removed over the years and now they're brought back again, namely the Bic lighter and the pen. Let's start off first with the branding change being the sticker that goes on top of the tin. This was designed by Terry Huddleston from Terry Huddleston Art. I'll provide links for his information in the PDF file. He's a well-known comic book artist. You've probably seen his booth over at Comic-Con. It's just a play on the Altoids tin label, but it has some modifications like the original EDC tinned, cautiously packed items, and the prepper kit instead of peppermint. The tin itself is one of the County Com industrial strength survival food grade tin that is basically an Altoids tin, but a little bit more durable. It also has a flat top, which works out well with the sticker. Now let's open up the tin. On the lid itself, I have a label that has various emergency numbers on there. I have numbers for my car insurance, highway assistance, AAA, poison, non-emergency, the Red Cross, earthquake emergencies, and emergency management. Some of these are local numbers. At the bottom of the label, I also have a couple popular local area amateur radio repeater information, just in case. Covering the items in the main section of the tin, I have a small microfiber cleaning cloth. This particular one is made by Magic Fiber. It comes in a six pack and the main intended use is to clean my glasses in addition to keeping all the items in place without rattling while they're in the tin. After removing the microfiber cloth, you see all of the items that are stored in the tin. As you could see, it's almost like Prepper's Tetris with how they're stored in here. A lot of the items are magnetically attached to the tin itself to help keep the items in place and avoid them rattling. I've been ordering all of my tiny disc magnets from K&J Magnetics online. I'll provide links in the PDF. The ones that I've been using are the D21B-N52. They're an eighth inch in diameter, a sixteenth inch in thickness, and they're extremely strong. I just used a little bit of Gorilla Glue to put them into place. The first item to go over is the mini pen. I used to have pens in my earlier versions of my Altoids tins and I eventually removed them because I was mainly unhappy with the quality of the pen. But since that time I found a really good one and it's come back to the Altoids tin. So this is the Narwell Company mini pen. It's a great little pen, it writes well, the ink does what it's supposed to do without smearing all over the place. It has a really nice clip to it and I've attached a magnet to the tail of it so it attaches to the side of the Altoids tin. The next item is a mini USB cable. This one is made by D-Cables. It's the D-Cables Short Bendy Micro USB Charging Cable. It's originally designed to be stored on a keychain. I like having mine in my Altoids tin. It's always good to have a USB cable nearby, namely for keeping your cell phone charged. I have a small magnet super glued to the side of this one to keep it into place. One of the main items of my EDC tin is the Leatherman Multi-Tool. This is the Leatherman Style CS Keychain Multi-Tool with spring action scissors and grooming tools. It's in stainless steel. In previous versions of the Altoids tin, I used the Leatherman Style PS Multi-Tool, which didn't have a blade on it and it had pliers. I found that I wasn't using those pliers as often, but I was using the scissors. So I went with the CS, which has those nice spring-loaded scissors. It also has a small utility blade on it, so it's not exactly TSA friendly, but it's a great little backup multi-tool to have. Tucked in with the multi-tool, I have an SD card adapter with a mini SD card. This is part of the Kingston Digital Multi-Kit Mobility Kit. The kit also includes a USB adapter for the micro SD card, which we'll talk about later in this video. It's always nice having an empty micro SD card on hand, and with those various adapters you could insert it into a lot of different devices. I like having an extra SD card on hand for my camera that I use for filming. So I oftentimes will have a better quality micro SD card like the SanDisk 32 gig Ultra Micro SDHC memory card, which works better for my Canon camera. But it still works with that Kingston mobility kit. The next item is the Topeak Ratchet Rocket Light DX Tool. This is a little mini ratchet that comes with a small little bike kit, which fits perfectly in the Altoids tin. 
you're able to attach the bits to the ratchet itself as normal, and you're also able to attach it to the magnetic tail of the ratchet to act as a screwdriver. This little tool comes in handy all the time and works so much better than the small little screwdriver that's a part of my EDC multi-tool. To go along with that ratchet, I also include a 2.3 inch long quarter inch hex drive magnetic bit holder. This little bit holder is included with the Weha pocket pack slotted and fill up titanium coated insert bits with molded case. I use some of the bits from the pocket pack in the mini tin that's stored in this Altoids tin. We'll talk about that later in this video. I'm able to get a little extra reach with this hex drive, and I could also attach it to the tail of the ratchet to give me a longer screwdriver. Magnetically attached to the upper corner of the tin, I also have an Anchor USB-C to USB micro adapter. I pair this with that mini D cables USB cable. My smartphone uses USB-C for charging, but I have other devices that still use the older USB micro. One of the items that I was happy to bring back into my Altoids EDC tin is a mini Bic lighter. I used to use this in previous versions, but then I scaled it back to just having a couple matches for fire capabilities to help save on space. But I decided to go back to the mini Bic lighter, this time in the color black, because everyone kept telling me that having a white Bic lighter is bad luck. The Bic lighters are super reliable, I don't have to worry about refilling them, and I have plenty of lighting capabilities for fire. Tucked away in the back of the tin, I have the Tweezerman Mini Slant Tweezers. I like these ones better than the Uncle Bill's Sliver Gripper Tweezers, which are very popular. I just think that having slant tweezers provides you with more capabilities than having precision point tweezers. Magnetically attached to the bottom left hand corner of the tin, I have several inches of one inch premium grade gaffer tape. I have the gaffer tape rolled around a nail that's cut to size for easy dispersal. I like using gaffer tape over duct tape for EDC purposes because I feel that it's a less permanent adhesive that doesn't leave the sticky residue that duct tape does. I've been getting teased by preppers all around the world for having nail clippers with my Altoids EDC tins, but I don't really care. I like having them anyway. The Mr. Green nail clippers are good quality. They're fairly affordable compared to the last ones that I were using, and they fit perfectly in the EDC tin. Since I'm oftentimes showing close-ups of my hands for these type of videos, it's good to have manicured nails. Now let's start going through the mini tins. We'll start off first with the Bits mini tin. Again, these are the industrial strength survival food grade tins from Countycom. As the name suggests, inside of the Bits tin, I have six bits to use with the Topeak mini ratchet. I've Gorilla glued magnets to the ends of the mini tin to help avoid the bits from rattling around. So the bits that I'm currently using are a Phillips 0, Phillips 2, a slotted 4.5 millimeter, a slotted 6.5 millimeter, a T6 Torx, and a five millimeter hex. The T6 Torx works perfectly for my EDC knife repair, and that five millimeter hex bit comes in handy all the time because it's that standard size that you oftentimes will receive when ordering furniture, for example. It usually uses a five millimeter hex, so I like having one in my EDC tin. Now let's go through the items in the miscellaneous mini tin. In previous versions of the Altoids tin, I had three of these mini tins, and I used one as a pharmacy tin and the other as a miscellaneous tin. But in order to fit the mini Bic lighter in this particular version, I had to remove one of those and then basically combine the pharmacy with the miscellaneous tin. Let's start going through all the items now. The first item is the Kingston USB adapter for micro SD cards that go along with that Kingston mobility kit. I've reduced the pharmacy down to two types of pills, so I have two tablets of extra strength Tylenol. And then for anti-diarrhea, I have two pills of Imodium AD. Diarrhea is kind of a SHTF scenario, and it is hereditary. It runs in your genes. The next few items are just some small miscellaneous knickknacks. The first being a SIM tray removal tool. I also have one paper clip, one safety pin, one thumbtack, and a single nail. And those are all of the items included in the miscellaneous mini tin. And at the very bottom of the tin, I have a few flat items. The first being two stamps, and it's always good to have a little bit of cash on you, so buried at the very bottom, I have a single $20 bill. I have it at the very bottom to avoid using it on a regular basis. And those are all of the items that are currently stored in version 4.0 of my Urban Altoids EDC tin. In previous videos, people have commented that it must take me a long time to put all the items back into the EDC tin, but it really doesn't take that long once you're familiar with Altoids Tetris. In the past, I've mentioned that I don't like storing EDC items on my belt in pouches because it makes me feel like I have a Batman utility belt. But in this particular version, I have been breaking that rule and trying a leather pouch to store my Altoids tin when it's not stored in my backpack or messenger bag. I found a nice little leather Altoids tin belt pouch that's made by a single person. This company is called Walk by Faith777. I provided a link to his website in the PDF document. 
My Altoids tin fits perfectly in this leather belt pouch and it's fairly streamlined so it doesn't print that much with your clothing. That's gonna do it for this video featuring my updated Urban Altoids EDC kit version 4.0. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching it. Please leave your comments below in the comment section regarding this particular video. As I mentioned, I provided a PDF document. You can download it by clicking the link in the description box below. It has a list of all the items that were covered in this video. Stay tuned for a future video and, and where I'll show you how you can purchase one of these Urban Altoids EDC kits. I'm gonna be making them in bulk and I've been going through all the paperwork to be able to do that. So stay tuned for that video. Again, I hope that you guys enjoyed watching this one. If featured my updated Urban Altoids EDC kit version 4.0. See you guys next time.